้องน้องจะมีเสียงเท่าไหร่This is breaking news from Thailand TV dots news. Now all the Thailand news is in one place. The latest reports from around the clock and around the world. Breaking Thailand news from all the world's top news sources, translated into 11 languages and updated 24 hours a day. Here's Ali with more. Thailand TV dot news has it all: the latest news, weather, and sports updates. Plus, up to the minute events listings and fun things to do in Thailand. And that's not all. There's also entertainment, lifestyle, and travel news, including the latest visa information. If it's happening in Thailand, you'll find it here at ThailandTV.News. It's all here at ThailandTV.News. All the latest news, weather, sports. They even cover ice hockey. It's all done at ThailandTV.News. Yes, it's all the Thailand news, all in one place. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Thanks, Keith. Thank you for all you do in putting this uh, production together. No problem. Well, we have a we little audio problem. We wouldn't be here without you. We don't, we're having a little audio problem, but otherwise we're okay. But we're glad we went to plan B so, so we could hear you. So we got a mid mix uh, match of youth and, and veterans in this game. Uh, the, uh, to the right of us, the Icebreakers A squad have a couple of veterans from the Thai national team, Yin and Masato, and they've got the veteran Gabor and Net. Whereas the other side is a lot of young, and young Jesse. Yeah, Jesse too. But a lot of young players in the Nakarat squad, anchored by the uh, the, the veteran Op number number five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Time so, isn't time one of the uh, SHLers too. Um, I'm not sure. There's a there's a number of times in the league. There's not there's a number of kids with the okay. same nickname. I don't believe he's again common another common uh, uh, common name. Okay, good to know. Nickname. No, but this should be fun. I, I was just actually having a nice long conversation with Jesse Starosta on the icebreakers. 
SHL veteran. Yeah. So excited that we're back. I think there's there's two foreigners on this squad. The other one, Adam Williams, isn't playing tonight. But um, Gabor's in net for the icebreakers, and, and his defense better beware, because if any of them mess up, Gabor's <laughs> going to let them go right away. It's never a quiet night with him. Especially with, especially with the refreshment that he puts in his water bottle. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a... Uh, nice long shot there, but good save by the Oh, a nice save by yeah, Gabor. Gabor's going to be telling you about all the nice saves he makes anyway, so he won't actually have to say that. <laughs> A lot of speed, a lot of speed early in this game. But the players to watch out for on uh, the icebreakers are uh, Masato, number 83, who had a great tournament recently in South Africa. Oh! Goal! Pichit, and Pichit draws first blood. The, the Nakarat score early here. Nakarat is the early goal. But now you've got Masato and Yinon. Interesting, they're starting their a couple of their best players on the second line. Yin has a slap shot that I kid you not belongs in the National Hockey League. He's got all world talent. He could have played NCAA Division One if he wanted to, but he's just too nice of a guy. But he's got with a flick of his wrist, he's just got a shot that's as hard as anybody that I know in Asia. Up to the blue line, good shot, but saved by the Nakaraj goaltender. Here's Jean with the puck now. Cross ice. Up to Masato. Masato circles back. Masato, a uh, high national team veteran, has got excellent speed, good hands. Had a great tournament in South Africa recently. For those of you who are interested, you can go on YouTube and see the tournament in which South Africa, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Thailand played each other. And Wynn, who's on the ice now, too, number 42 for the Icebreakers, was also on that squad. So the Icebreakers have three players in the National Thai team that, that made that trip to South Africa. And it really was a fantastic tournament. They played quite well, got second, uh, close behind the winners, South Africa. So if you have, hear some screaming from the uh, Icebreakers net, that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. That's not not Gabor losing it. That's Gabor just uh, being Gabor. You can't take anything uh, out of his passion for the game. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't. And, you know, he's a very bright, he speaks about seven languages. He's born in Baku. He speaks Hungarian. He speaks Russian. Yeen Masato. Oh! Masato with a great setup there from Yeen, but excellent blocker by, I believe his name is Achi. Yeah, not correct. Holding your own early here. Masato circling, nice move there, going around behind the net now to the far boards. Tried a centering pass, but just couldn't quite get a good handle on it. Knee now There's behind Pichet. the breaker's net, up to Masato at the near boards. Masato trying to get around the Nakaraj checker. Throw it back to Dunk. Dunk now circling back. Good pressure here by the Nakaraj goaltender. He threw it across towards Gabber. Goes to the near boards in front of Scotty. Centering pass. There's Jesse Starosta. Uh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse sporting, a new, sporting a new helmet. Jesse had, for the last three or four years, Jesse's played for the Lions State franchise in this league. But he took a, he, he decided he want to go to the top tier this year, so he's playing for the Icebreakers but he's been one of the, the top scorers in the Lions State for the last three or four years. And he had a good active stick there and he's stolen it again. Centering pass and a goal! That was all Jesse. Wow, Jesse Starosta stole the puck, kept possession, had his head up, threw it to the center for his streaking Masato Kitayama, and all he had to do was tap it in. It's a 1-1 tie. 12 and a half minutes left in the first period. It's interesting, um, Zach, you see the colors on Icebreakers. They're the same colors of the Charleston Chiefs in this movie Slapshot. 
<laughs> it is, it is. And I've never seen that. It's funny. I just, I mean, no reason why I shouldn't, but I've never seen those colors other, other than anybody than, than on the Charleston Chiefs. Yeah. So, uh, so Paul Newman's team <laughs> it is, is, it really is alive, is. alive in spirit in, in Thailand <laughs> four you years later. on purpose. Oh, <laughs> poor, poor. <laughs> Board referee Jeff had lost his Austin edge. He's okay, thankfully. Now here's Masato with the puck. Masato had a tremendous uh, tournament in South Africa. He had a rough season in the in the SHL, but he uh, he really redeemed himself with his play in the um, in the, the tournament in the IHF tournament in, in uh, South Africa. He had a really good played really well. He threw it behind the net with the Nakaraj players trying to fight off checks here from the icebreakers. Masato. In the slot, shot, save, wide. Whoa, oh, that, that, was, that was a bit of a bit of a push there, but that was a, a cross jet. Good speed see. here from the Nakarash player, but it bounces off the icebreaker defender. It's thrown. No, it's it's taken there by 90, 96 here. It's just been all over the puck for Nakarash. That's Garfield. We talked a little bit about him last week. There's a lot of kids in uh, Thailand with the nickname Garfield. Is that uh, when that when that comic was really really popular? It was a big uh, big hit over here, and a lot of a lot of Car Garfield dolls and stuffed animals sold. Nice little smart play, just throwing it back to his defense. That was Garfield. That is Puck now at the far boards, but uh, it looks like Masato or that might be Quinn is gonna get it. It's Boss. Excuse me. I'm still learning the names here. That's Boss. A lot, of, a lot of speed on this Nakarot squad. The yeah, icebreakers are bigger. The icebreakers are bigger. There's no doubt about it. Nice hard play moving towards the center ice there. Boss here. Going up back up to Mickey. Mickey Owen. Oh, a nice little kick save there by Hachi. Mickey's still trying to get the puck at the near boards here. Both teams back and forth here. It's hard to keep track. Try to throw it out, but taking the icebreaker is cutting the center. Oh, and just couldn't quite finish. Icebreaker with the goal. Giveaway here. Oh, one too much time. Perhaps got all oh, the time. What a glove save! Wow, wow. He had all Ian the time looks up in disbelief. Wow, that was an excellent glove save by Achi. Yin on the doorstep just couldn't convert. Honestly, I think that was just one pass too many. The, the icebreakers are coached by um, Dick, who's over there talking on the phone with a white uh, pullover. Now, he actually plays for the Thai national team, but in the league, he plays for Canstar. So it's interesting because he plays for another team, yet he coaches this squad. So I haven't, uh, that's, that's an interesting one. I haven't heard that before. Where does his loyalties lie, I wonder? I think, I think that he wants to play <laughs> for this one, but he was telling me that they made his jewelry. His, the Canstar team made his jersey for him before he could switch allegiance, but I, I, I think he'll be on this squad <laughs> next year. Because I, I honestly don't remember a situation like that where you're playing for one team and you're coaching another in the same league. Well, oh, Gabor, Gabor, nice hasn't, been Gabor, Gabor hasn't, hasn't been tested too much, but he was right there. It's been quite a quiet, a quiet it's been quiet in Gabor's end this, this, this uh, period. He hasn't had that much action. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the first score is still tied one all. Usually we hear a lot more noise emanating from the board net. Ooh, nice quick backhand there. Nice save by Achi. Achi's had several good saves here. Keeping the Nakaraj team in it. There's Yee. Yee. Goal! Of course, right when I say what? that, the announcer's curse. 
Yin with the goal. One timer. He didn't even have to look, he just buried it. It was a good setup, went from low to high. Yin was sitting at the high, uh, top of the slot, excuse me, near the uh, blue line. And as Scotty just said, just one timed it. Face off one there by Machado for the icebreakers. 42 now, that's win. His high national team teammate. That should be, well, it looked like a bit of a tripping, but they're saying play on. I think that uh, just the stick got caught in the states there. Obi here, one of the alternative referees. Oh, there's Masato, wheeling and dealing. Puck goes all the way down the Nakaraj end at the far boards. Back now behind the Nakaraj net. I have to say, I really do like the Nakaraj uh, black sweaters here. They have a nice kit. Yeah, good design. Nice pass Somebody by the stick. He has the ability to jump into play so quickly, just what he did right there. Both teams fighting for it at the near boards here. Right Akarak coming in back. Field. Garfield trying to avoid that stick on the ice. Oh, Hard shot oh, by him. Just a little too much. There's the Not opportunity yet. for you. All right, there you go. There's Nakara. Nakara. Nakaraj, I believe it's pronounced. Nakaraj, okay. Well, there's your Not that roster. I'm not that I'm the one who knows. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm guessing with you. And are next, you on low battery? So unfortunately, both my uh, camera ladies are on low battery. So I'm going to have to unplug here. Okay, uh, Zach's having a little bit of uh, tech, some technical issues here, and he'll be back with us shortly. Icebreakers breaking out now, coming into the Nakarat zone. The pronunciation of the team is a bit varied. Some people say Nakarat, some people say Nakaraj. A lot of feedback. I'm not hearing it. Maybe it was not. Op, Op has the puck now yeah, for I, I the uh, Nakarat. Uh, He's moving around with it. Checked by the Icebreakers player. To hear him. Scotty, I mean. Now, this is Winnie. Colonel Mike or, or the. I think it's Winnie. Yeah. I don't know if he's hitting. Winnie's an interesting player. He's got to be in his early 20s now, but when he first started yeah, playing he hockey, he used to sleep with his hockey stick, <laughs> which is pretty cool for, for a kid in its. I've taken over Keith's spot because unfortunately 
both of the girls' phones are too low for me to be working with them. Okay, Nakarat putting some pressure on Gabor, who's starting this to pipe up. He's been quite quiet up till now. Nakarat again. Thank you. Garfield, Garfield's got some real skill here. He's been moving the puck quite well. I don't know if you already announced it, but there is the penalty there, and so the uh, right. icebreakers. Fifteen yep. seconds left in the uh, icebreakers penalty. Looks One like forty remaining up. in the penalty. Oh, Excuse the me, in the period. What, Excuse me. Yeah, it looks like they're yeah they're going to kill this penalty off successfully. Good speed there for Win Win. Looking for a shot. Oh, oh just man. wide. Nakaraj trying to move out, but just really good constant pressure here from the icebreakers. Oh, with oh, an excellent move and a shot. Gabor just got enough of that. A lot of speed. Number 20 time and number, tw and number uh, 96 Garfield. Garfield, yeah, they have excellent a lot speed. Of speed. These two guys have a lot of speed. 89 there as well. He's not listed on my uh, roster here, but that 89 with the long hair, he's got very yeah, good speed. Mr. Flo. <laughs> we can call him. I, That's I, a good I, one. No, I forgot. I thought I thought he was the guy in the first game, but this guy's the one who actually won the flow contest. Puck in center ice now. Yin trying to fight over it with Flo. And is that a goal? It is. I couldn't quite catch that. Caught him napping. And with that goal, we've got 15 seconds remaining in the period. The icebreakers are now up three to one over Nakaraj, and they have a twelve to seven shots on goal advantage. Yep. The final few seconds of the period, I'm not sure we're going to get the face off before the end. Yeah, they're just throwing their hands up, saying, "Yeah, that's going to be the end of the first. This is hockey in Thailand. This is breaking news from Thailand TV. Dots news. Now all the Thailand news is in one place. The latest reports from around the clock and around the world. Breaking Thailand news from all the world's top news sources, translated into 11 languages and updated 24 hours a day. Here's Ali with more. ThailandTV.news has it all. The latest news, weather and sports updates, plus up to the minute events listings and fun things to do in Thailand. And that's not all. There's also entertainment, lifestyle and travel news, including the latest visa information. If it's happening in Thailand, you'll find it here at thailandtv.news. It's all here at thailandtv.news. All the latest news, weather, sports, they even cover ice hockey. It's all done at thailandtv.news. Yes, it's all the Thailand news, all in one place. And we're back. If you are watching, give us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to give you a shout out for our fans. Second period here between Nakaraj and the Icebreakers. It's been a relatively even game back and forth, but uh, the top tier of the Icebreakers just a little bit more skilled, a little more polished than Nakaraj, in my estimation. Yes, for sure. Interesting, number 56 for Nakarat. D. His name is actually D, but... Oh, good sliding stop there by Achi and net for Nakaraj. Wearing... Yin used to play for this team. He's wearing Yin's so old joke jersey. Yeah, so Yin is on the ice for the other team wearing 56, <laughs> or somebody else is wearing his, his old jersey for the other team. Another... Uh, Thailand ice hockey anomaly. Here's Masato. Masato in the slot. Not, oh, I'm not sure what was going on there. but So this this period, we have Nakarat to, the, to our right and Icebreakers to our to our left. And there are two Icebreakers team in, in the league this year. There's Icebreakers A and Icebreakers B. And from what I understand, when they renovate the Sam Rong rink, that will be the Icebreakers home. Oh, great. Here the Here icebreakers, Masato moving back in. Masato, good drop blast to win. Win shot. Achi looking up, didn't quite see where it went. It's now behind the net. Bounced off the boards, tried to get it out, but Yin does a good job of keeping it in. 
D wearing Yeen's goal throws it to the corner yep. for Obi. Off the boards. Oh, they had a chance there, but just couldn't quite get a clean look at the puck. Yeen now circling, looking for an outlet pass. Circles back again behind Gabor. Yeen now cutting across Yin center. Just makes it look so easy. Yeah, he only has a few strides, you know, before he gets going. He looks so he's effortless just, out there. He uses so his strong. length. Yeah, he uses his strength. It's like, oh, good turnaround shot, backhander, saved by Achi. I mean, kind of similar to the last game here. You've yeah. got the Thai goaltender here, Achi, in this case. In the previous game, it was <coughs> Oliver. He's really done a good job in the early going, keeping his team in it. Yeah, Masato's dad's here, and he's been a huge support for Masato throughout his hockey career, as have all the parents of the players here. I mean, Thailand doesn't have a great history of, of hockey culture, so the parents themselves have had to learn the game, the equipment, the rules, and um, they've been very supportive of their of their young players here. But it but it's it's a hard because you don't you know you didn't grow up playing hockey in. in uh, Thailand, it's a relatively new phenomenon. Sure, and that includes a lot of things, you know, as you discussed there, Keith, excuse me, uh, Scott, the strategy, you know, the style of play, you know, what are, as you say, are the rules, what's happening? You have to learn all these oh. things on the fly. Oh, good, excellent centering pass, follow-up shot by Jesse, but Achi doing a good job being <coughs> in the net there, keeping it all out. Masato here just... Putting on a clinic here, going yeah, back and yeah, forth. Doing the stick handling in the phone booth. Long shot kept out by Achi. You know, as a layman here, I'm just looking. Achi, he goes down quite quickly. If I was on the icebreakers, I'd say try and get those pucks high. Well, and he stays down. You notice that? A lot of the tie goers, when they go down, they don't jump right back up again. They stay down. Partly fatigue, but... But he's played, he's made some excellent saves. He's been in the right place at the right time tonight. Any young <coughs> players out there, you know, this is the opportunity we talk about, you know, just throw your wrist towards the ceiling, throw your hands towards the ceiling, try and roof that puck over him, over the goaltender, I mean to say. Oh, yeah. and a good job there by that, Boss yeah, following up that, that rebound. That was a bad clear by Nakra. A good, good, good pounce on by Jesse and a good finish by Gunn. That was Boss, I believe, number 91. Oh, sorry, boss, Boss. Well, it looks like the Nakarak goalie is a bit frustrated, and he doesn't, he shouldn't be. He's played really, really well. You can but feel like you're on an island sometimes. Yeah, Obi yeah. there going back to give him some encouragement. 4 1, 4 1 lead. Icebreakers have been out shooting 2 to 1. Yeah, and genuinely, it could be worse. You know, Achi's done very well to keep his team in it. Yeah, none of, none of these have been do a little giveaways. Uh, Nakrat's got to do a little better job of keeping the puck out of their end. And uh, similar to the previous game with Oliver, I mean, this score could be much worse. Sachi's done very well. These None of these have been oh. uh, soft goals. <laughs> Gabor there making it look harder than it was. <laughs> well, Gabor does cover a lot of the net as compared to the, the Nakarat uh, goalie. He's... Uh, <laughs> Got a little bit of a size advantage. <laughs> Similar to the previous game with, uh, I think it was Aker, Gabor looks like he could be a starting offensive lineman for yeah. American no, that football was, team. That was show. That, that was, was show. show, thank you. That was show. It must be that uh, that extra special supplements he puts in his water. <laughs> it's funny, these... Uh, these icebreakers uniforms, I keep I keep expecting to see Reggie Dunlop out there. The real question is how many of our viewers will even understand that reference? But, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> At least I get the joke there, Scott. <laughs> but uh I don't know, I mean Gabor doing a good job there playing the puck. I always like to see a goaltender with an active uh, yeah, stick. Yeah, you know, Gabor is quite good at clearing the puck. There, Mackey trying to move in for the icebreakers. Nice glove save, Achi. 
Mackie, I wonder if he's Scottish Thai. <laughs> that would be an interesting mix. Yeah. Icebreaker's making changes. So op number five is really the steadying influence on this team. Really a lot of very young players and they, they look to him for inspiration and guidance and just to settle things down. He's got a very easy demeanor. Yeah, he, he, he sometimes refs for the SHL, correct? He does, he does, he does. But he's just, he's a very laid back guy and kind of puts things in perspective. Because it can be a bit daunting for some of these younger players playing against, uh, you know, guys that are playing in the, on the, in the top squad in the country. If we, we've got Win and Masato out there right now. And Yin. Three of and Yin, I mean, yeah, represent. three of the guys. They represent Thailand in international competition. And, you know, if you're a young player, you know, that's like playing against, uh, you know, top pros. Masato is interesting. His dad, his dad is Japanese and his mom is Thai. Very much like Hideki, Hideki Nagayama. Yeah, another, another uh, excellent young player. Excellent speed here for the breakers. Back to Masato here at the near boards. Masato, good drop pass to win. Win, cutting in, goal. Just a lot of talent, a lot of speed, and the hands to finish. Good look by, uh, good look by Masato. Good feed by Masato there. He, uh, he could have shot, but he, but he looked around and he found Win put, put the puck right on his blade, the stick, and, and Win went in and made a really nice play, nice finish. With that goal, it's now five to one. And uh, gotta feel bad for the Nakarat goalie because he's really doing quite a good job, but it looks like he's being too hard on himself here. It also looks like he's tiring. And we still have half the game left to be played. And I, I, I agree with you there, Scotty. You know, it's, it's sometimes you feel like you're on an island and you can be your own worst critic at times. Well, some of these teams carry two goalies and, and, and uh, you know, they, they can change up. But, but Nakarat does not have an extra goalie with him. So he's going to be seeing all the rubber tonight. Yin here trying to push the Nakarash player off the puck at the near boards here. Doing a good job just using his length, using his size to shield the puck. Cutting in now, shot wide. Off the back of the netting there. Now into the near side corner. Masato now. Masato cutting towards the net. Good head fake. Tries a backhander. Saved by Achi. Yeah, as you mentioned earlier, Nakaraj just really needs to work on trying to get good clears and, and just getting some breathing room for Achi and, and they're out of their zone. It's played almost most of the game in their own zone. Good sliding save. He's still on the ice. Masato now. And again, to win, Icebreaker's just maintaining possession, maintaining pressure. They're so strong in the puck. Here's win again over the blue line. Oh, he oh almost cross ice. Favor to Masato just there. Almost, out of Masato's reach. In. Near corner here, Nakaraj yeah, trying to get it out. That's what Nakaraj has to do more of. Just, just get the puck out of their zone. But they gave they it right to Yin, who gets it back in. Jesse now, his pass doesn't quite connect, and now Nakaraj is going to have an opportunity here. Good shot. Gabor with the glove caught just enough of that. Tried an outlet pass, 33, doing a good job to get the puck in, but Nakaraj here with the opportunity to get possession. Good cross ice pass. Pitch number 68, throws it across, but here Icebreakers again just quickly getting possession. Not a lot of sustained pressure here for Nakaraj. I think uh, Gabor will be giving a video conference after the game to talk about all his great saves tonight. <laughs> Translate. Oh! Quinn there just kind of fanned on it. M Misato trying to drag it around. Jesse, oh, oh. Oh, the puck was still loose. But Bit of quick whistle there, yeah. Puck was loose. Jesse had a chance. 
Nakrat's really got to try to get to this puck quicker in their own zone just to get it out. But even if they get the puck out to center ice or just into the other zone, but the goalie's tiring and they've really got to try to help him out and get the pressure off a little bit here. It's going to be Boss versus Flo. <laughs> Sounds like a head and shoulders uh, commercial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One by Boss. Jesse, quick shot. Glove save, Achi. And as <coughs> Scotty said earlier, I mean, this is a small rink. <laughs> These shots are coming from only about 5 to 10 meters away. It's, it's very close. And, Zach, I just want to point out number 24 for Nakrat, Kun Man. A couple of years ago, he had a horrific accident, and we didn't think he would even walk again. And yet, he's out there, he's playing, he's competing. Um, you know, a lot of tragedy in the world these days, but it's just uplifting to see this kid who, who really, we thought was paralyzed when he first got hurt, come back, skate, take a full shift, and, and play in the game again. It's heartwarming. Yep. And just gives uh, people, you know, some hope. Personal yeah. story, my brother's uh, sadly paralyzed himself. You know, when he was first injured, he couldn't use one of his arms at all and was completely dependent on home helpers. And today, six years after his injury, he's independent at home. He, he still, unfortunately, can't walk. But, you know, he's got his own form of independence, and he's living his life his own way. So, you know, even wow. in a, the spirit of, you know, a tragic accident, you know, a difficult situation. He's able to carve out his own space in the world. That's that's great. So no matter what your uh, personal struggle might be, you know, think about what you can do to make yourself better. we got a timeout here. Yep. Well, it's the period. Oh, no. He, I saw what I looked like a T, but the clock is still running. Yeah, it looks like the, the timeout. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, that's the timeout clock. So oh, <laughs> I got a little confused there, but the clock running is the, is for the timeout. Yeah. Three and a half minutes left in the, in the second period. 5-1 score in favor of the icebreakers. 20-11 uh, shot advantage for the icebreakers. Yeah, Keith up updating us there. Unfortunately, we cannot update the uh, clock on our broadcast, but there's 3.30 remaining in the second. It's 5-1. to one. Icebreakers over Nakaraj with a 20-11 to 11 shots on goal advantage. We'll have to get some upgraded equipment. If, if, if you viewers out there want to make a donation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't hesitate. That's right. So... The icebreaker's home rink is, is usually Samron, the Olympic-sized rink that actually is only a few kilometers away from here. But it's shut down for four months for renovations. That's where we played the, the last couple seasons of the uh, SHL. Ob here giving it up to his defensive partner. Oh, unfortunately he fanned on that pass. It went right to gun, but good work there by the Nakaraj player to get the possession right back. Gun again trying to move in. His shot got deflected into the near corner. Now behind the net of Nakaraj. Here, boss. Nope, now it goes to Jesse. Jesse near the high slot going towards the far boards. Cuts back. Good work there by 20, but Jesse sticks with it to maintain possession for icebreakers. Cross-ice pass gets broken up. Boss going in near the goal. Oh. Whistle kept out. Nice work there by Achi and his defensive uh, partner there to keep that puck out. You just would like to see Nakaraj get one more goal here and try and get back in the game. They just feel a little bit defeated. Yeah, they look, their shoulders are sagging. They look a bit listless out there. But, but icebreakers are so strong on the puck. They're so hard to move off the puck once they get it. They're just physically bigger. Oh, oh that was the off the post. Boss there. Or excuse me, that's not boss. That's 81. That is Jun, Jun Sang. Jun Sang there just hit the post. 
Puck going all the way down to the icebreaker's end. Up the near boards here for icebreakers in white. And stymied here by the Nakaraj forechecking. They go back towards center ice. Thrown back, and here come, nope, back and forth possession here. Puck bouncing loudly off the boards in front of me for the icebreakers here. Final minute, minute second period. period. Quick save by Achi. Puck goes to the far boards. Come on, Nakaraj, let's try and get one more quick rush here. Shot, save, pad by Gabor. Somebody had a little collision there, but they're up quickly. Taken here by the icebreakers, 34 seconds remaining in the period. Long shot, oh, and a goal! Off the post and in. I think that was number 11, Mackey. Not quite sure. But you could hear it clang off the post. Uh-oh, and Achi's now... Oh, he's, he's fixing his equipment. No, we're not going to get back, so we're going to go here. Well, they've actually stopped the clock here is the goal. To, no, they're resuming it now. And then that's going to do it here for the second period. It is 6-1 to one icebreakers. This is hockey in Thailand. Bangkok with BIHL Hockey, Zach Block, Scott Murray, Keith Mueller, our production manager, and our lovely Thai camera ladies, Bong, Jin, and Ellie and Opor. Ellie and Opor. Thank you. We have the prettiest, uh, <laughs> prettiest camera ladies around. <laughs> Oh, oh, and a goal! Caught. And that's exactly what Nakaraj caught. needed. Nakaraj caught Gabor sleeping there. He's not going to be happy. Get prepared. Your your ear drums are going to hear it very soon. And I'm noticing now, because I'm sitting here closer to your end of the ice here, uh, Scotty, Gabor's actually got a gold mask. <laughs> yep. He's, well, he's golden. He's the golden boy. <laughs> Not I'm on that play. Not on that I'm play. Getting, I'm getting messages from Thai national team captain uh, Ken Kinborn here. <laughs> what what does Ken say there, Scotty? Well, Ken's in his log. Ken's in his oh, Ken's in his log cabin down on Lemprong Tap in Phuket, where he shears sheep for a living, and he's, he's asking. Uh, <laughs> In between his sheep shearing, he's asking why uh, why the BHL can't get any any younger commentators. Younger? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he was referring to you, Zach. Oh, come on. You, you've got your experience and my youth and passion for the game. I, th I think we make a good combo. I don't know. I think he wants 12-year-olds. I'm not sure. Anyway. Ken's Even in Thailand, I think there's uh, some labor laws against that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but he's, he's saying we're too old. Well, I would just to shout out to Ken. If you are watching, you guys had a great tournament in South Africa. It was a lot of fun as a fan just to watch you guys play together. Your chemistry on the ice, the passion you guys have for the game. I, we, uh, we really appreciate it. And we're looking forward to the next season of the SHL. Oh! What a nice move, yeah. Masato 
showing off his national team chop. Or that's Ox Masato, excuse me. That, is that's it a Masato? Win. Oh, that was that Wynn. Was win. Well, another that's national team player. But I like it that they're celebrating, but they're not going over the top here. Some of these kids, when they score, they kind of put it in the opposing team's face. But these guys are they're celebrating the goal, but they're not going, they're not going too far, which is which is good on them. No, the last thing you, the last thing you need when you're up seven to two is for the, the the winning team to be really shoving in your face. You know. Yeah, they've got the size, they've got the experience, they've got you know years of uh, hockey on on their opponents here, and uh, with the two to one shots on goal advantage, almost they're kind of well, expecting it. I wouldn't be surprised, too, if Yin, Masato, and Wynn haven't coached a lot of these kids in the Nakarat squad at some point in time. So you've got the mentors going against the students. No, that's something that you bring up there, Scotty, and that's something important that I would like to highlight as well. Is I really love to see how the experienced veterans of the Thai national team and the players here really give well, back Yin, Yin, to the community. Yin just broke his stick. You know, usually let's go a slap shot at about 90, 90 kilometers an hour, or 90 miles an hour. Just broke his stick, and that, that drew the biggest roar from the crowd all night. <laughs> and that's honestly true. We talked about Ken Kimbo, we talked about Masato, talked about Wynn. They've all uh, given back, teaching the young players here how to play and just kind of yeah. passing it along, passing the torch to the next generation of players. It's good to see. Well, it's great, too, because now these guys can make a living out of coaching, which they never could do before. It's a relatively new phenomenon the last six or seven years. But these guys can actually make, you know, a decent way for Thailand coaching kids. And so they can keep playing. They can keep playing the game. Because previously, many good players had to quit the game because they couldn't afford to keep playing. This is not a cheap sport. You got to have the equipment. You no, got to get the ice and, time. Yeah. And for the most part, all the players pay their way here, except if they're rep representing the country and going on a trip abroad. Oh! Oh! oh nice backdoor opportunity there by the flow, but the, fl the flow almost <laughs> connected. Gabor's getting Gabor with a power. nice with a nice blocker save there. Gabor's Gabor as well. He, he's, he, Gabor as well. It's similar to Achi. He, he goes down a bit quickly and stays down. If I was on the opposition, I'd try and get that puck a bit higher. Yep. Jesse there trying to push in. Boss now following up. Quick shot. Achi keeps it out. Puck now behind Achi and net for Nakaraj. Both teams fighting for possession. Into the near side corner here. I'm slightly screened from view. Back towards the center. Puck's going to go all the way out towards center ice. Nakaraj here with a quick chance. Shot just wide. Near boards here. Time throws it back to the near corner. Up to all, but the blue line. Long shot saved by Gabor. Oh, Gabor, Gabor made the save. Ob there with the right idea, just a quick shot from the blue line. He was using the Icebreakers player as a bit of a screen, but Gabor got his pads down and was able to make the save. Quite an interesting uh, transition between the two goalies, wouldn't you say, Zach? I mean, Gabor is quite big in his gear, whereas the, the Nakarat goalie is quite diminutive. Uh, the goal gear is almost bigger than he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really, really, really... Uh, you put the two side by each. And in actually, I don't know if he's either tired or just he's, he's just sitting on the ice here. And now he's yeah, finally stood he up. Well, okay, I think I think it's finally got to him because, as you said, Zach, he just kind of stood up, got down, and kind of even gave up on that shot. It's too bad. He's kind of got a got ten minutes left in the game. He's got to bear down and focus a bit here. No, honestly, like we said earlier, I mean, for the first period plus, he, he kept his his team in the game, and it could have been even worse. I mean, obviously, right now it is, uh, you know, a, a rough score for his team, but he, he played quite well. It was just, you know, a bit of a case of too much talent, too much constant pressure for the mm. icebreakers. But you know, don't don't be too hard on yourself. You you played well. D don't don't give up. You still got learning opportunities, even in defeat. You know, you, you have opportunities to test yourself, to test your teammates, to work on your things 
Work on your skills. Yep. Makaraj here, circling behind their own net. Head up looking for a long outlet pass. Almost connected with Obe there. Mm. Nice hands by Mackey, but he just couldn't quite cut through. A uh, bit of a trip there, and that might be the call. Oh, oh, that's the last thing. The last thing that Nakrat needs is a penalty at this time. Yeen's getting a new so interference. He's be back on the ice now. Interference is the call on number 24. That is now, Man to the Sinbin. Some of the players have names on the back of their jerseys, and some don't. Um, as we've mentioned before, some of them have their nicknames, like number 85, Dunk for um, the icebreakers. The, the ties have, tend to have very long last and first names, so they get these, these short nicknames. And some of them are wearing them, but unfortunately some of the uniforms do not have names on them. And unfortunately they're not on our score sheet. So we can't at, at times tell you exactly who's out there. Icebreakers on the power play here. It's up near the blue line. Long shots, glove saved by Achi. Nakaraj player goes behind the net, tried to get it out, but good job here by the Icebreakers keeping it in. Long sh pass and a one-timer from Yeen, saved by Achi again. Yeen, Masato, and Win, when they're out there, it's a bit like uh, Non and, and uh, Mancorn in the last game. They're, di they're just too, too strong and too good, especially on a, on a man advantage situation. And hours and hours of ice time played together as well. That yeah, chemistry, yeah. that feeling. Here's Masato moving forward with Ween. With Give Ween it up to Win. Cross ice here. Followed up by Dunk. Throws it behind. Yeen now to the far boards for Masato. Masato back There's to the blue line for Win. Fake shot off the post Great and in. The, he had a good quick move there. He faked the shot to get Ashi to move and then adjusted and shot it off the post and in. Winnie also had a great uh, tournament in South Africa, so he's uh, he's on a bit of a roll here the last two months or so. Nine two now. Seven twenty remaining in the third. Shots on goal at thirty to sixteen for the Icebreakers over Nakaraj. Puck goes back to Yeen here. He gives it to his D partner. Behind the net. Nice good uh, forechecking here by the Nakaraj player. I'm liking a, this. Uh, yeah. you no, know, don't give yes, up here. Garfield. 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 That was Garfield. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Two long shots. That second one didn't quite make it cleanly onto Gabor. There's Winnie again going Winnie in. Winnie again with some speed. Goes across the goal mouth. Good job by Achi there following that puck nicely. Uh-oh, he's, he's lost his edge. He's, I think he just wants to go home and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> he's making a snow angel. <laughs> he's, had a, he's only got six minutes to go. Can, and can uh, I guess at this point, can Icebreakers hit 10? Looking for the double now digits. Here's a, here's, a, here's a chance for Nakrat. Uh, Gabor with a nice save. Gabor hasn't been tested too much tonight, but in the, the times that he has, he's held his own. He made a few nice saves. Well, if he get what two more you? goals, it'll be a nice football score, <laughs> ten to three. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Field goal and a and a touch and a converted touchdown. But I'm sure Gabor will be telling us about his saves later later today. I um, guess nine to three would be a football score too. Low scoring field goal game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All field goals. Puck going all the way back to the Nakaraj end. Nakarat started well. I mean, but yeah, they got, they had the, the opening goal in this game. As the game wore on, they just too much experience on the uh, icebreaker side. Oh, a good setup pass, but just couldn't quite get it on. He had time the right idea, but yeah, time couldn't quite settle that down quickly enough. But, but you see their size, um, Zach. I mean, they're both good young players, but they're not. They, they need to put on some more weight because they can easily get pushed around by the bigger players. 
So as time goes on and as, as they develop more, um, they'll be a, much more of a force to be reckoned with as they get bigger and stronger. Agreed. Oh, they had a chance there. Gabor had a good little kick save. Puck behind the Nakaraj net. And as Scott was saying, you know, a lot of these players are quite literally teenagers, you know. It's good to see them out here getting some experience, but it's just a, a game of men versus boys right now. Well, that was a gift. That was a gift. So that's gonna that's a 10-2 score now for uh, Rice. 420 Rice. remaining in the a third. A lot of guys chalking up stats tonight. That was Junsong number 81, I believe. So Gabor's gonna be happy tonight. Gabor's gonna be be pleased. Jesse doing a good job to throw that into the net. Ooh, hard shot, but off the end boards. Thrown towards Achi. It's somewhere in the wickets. Can't quite find it. Thank you again to our executive producer and director, Keith Mueller, our camera operators, Papang, Jin, Eli, Opor, and our associate producer, Rob Palmer. Along with me, Scotty Murray. I'm Zach Block. This is Hockey in Thailand. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We even, we've even got a custom graphic. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Three and a half minutes to go here in the game. <laughs> Ooh. It might not be a checking league, but these guys are going hard into the boards. Yeah, this has been this has not been a soft game. Yeah, imagine a checking game. Yeah, I can only imagine oh. what a checking game would look like. Boss here moving back. Or excuse me, that was Jun Song. Hard shot. Achi gloves it over to the corner. Excuse me, sticks it over to the corner. Jesse now tried a centering pass. Goes across the goal mouth. Boss keeping it in. Into the near corner. Try to centering pass. Achi's down. They're celebrating. I can't see. Did the goal did it go in the goal? They looked like they were celebrating, but uh looks like no, Achi was able to keep that one out, and uh, both teams making changes here. 220 remaining in the third. Shots on goal are 35 to 19. Zach, I just want to um, mention the passing of uh, Guy Lafleur last yeah. week, one of, one of the greatest hockey players of all time, shortly after the passing of Mike Bossy uh, as part of the hockey community here in Thailand. Just, just uh, we want to say, um, pass on our, our, our thoughts and best wishes to their family members. Both yeah. of them were both fantastic. Big loss, for, uh, big loss for hockey all over the world with those two. Yeah. Hockey Hall of Famers, uh, icons for the sport. Yeah, and and just classic guys, great gentlemen. Both, I mean, it'd be very difficult to find people that would say negative things about them. Both class individuals. No, on and on and off the ice, played the game the right way, gave back to their communities, encouraged yeah. the next generations to play. Yeah. She was looking down. I'm not sure if he knew where that puck <laughs> went. Well, he's, go he's gonna. He's gonna. Oh, that's get a goal. That's a goal. Soon. Unfortunately, final minute of the third. I think that is a goal. Or was it no goal? Uh, no, 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 no. He's the, the the ref is is. Oh, he was just adjusting the net. It looked like he was reaching into the net for the puck. Forgive me. No. Forty seconds remaining. Our next games are going to be Thursday, May 5th. So we've got uh, just over a week off. Final 25 seconds here, the third. It's oh, It was a fun night, but uh, as we mentioned already, just the skill and experience, the speed of the icebreakers were too much for Nakaraj here. Jesse here throwing the puck. Good pass here to win. Win's going to have a breakaway chance. Shot. Oh, and a good save by Achi there. Nice way to end it for him as the final few ticks are going to go off. 
And that's going to do it for us here in Bangkok. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Zach Block. For Scotty, Keith, and the rest of the team, signing off. Good night. Good night. This has been a presentation of ThailandTV.TV, winner of the SHL Golden Mike Award for Excellence in Broadcasting for Hockey Night in Thailand.